In the online mode, Dixie 4 gives you a series of helpful test and diagnostic functions. You can mark indications with a test bit and suppress their transmission via the system interface. You check binary inputs, binary outputs, as well as LEDs, and start different test routines for circuit breakers. You can have steady state signals recorded that exist at the device and you generate indications that are sent via the system interface. The device version and its defined functional scope determine which of these functions you can actually use. To that, an important piece of safety information. The execution of test functions presumes an appropriately high qualification and exact knowledge of the system conditions. An incorrect course of action can lead to death or heavy personal and material damage. Indications that a protective device sends to the higher level station during normal operation lead to certain reactions there. These are not generally desirable during the test operation. For that reason, a Cyprotec 4 device can mark indications with an additional test bit. The higher level station recognizes this test bit and can so suppress the usual reactions. You activate the test operation quite easily with Dixie 4, either with a menu command or with a click on the symbol in the toolbar. If the password for test and diagnostics is activated, Dixie 4 queries this before the command is transmitted. By the way, in order to turn off the test operation, proceed in the same simple manner. If you don't want the Cyprotec 4 device to output any indications via the system interface, Activate the transmission block either with a menu command or with a click on the symbol in the toolbar. Here as well, if the appropriate password is activated, you must enter it so that Dixie 4 can pass on the command to the Cyprotec 4 device. To deactivate this transmission block, simply select the command one more time. Another useful function is the testing of binary inputs, binary outputs and LEDs. The dialog box shows the states of the hardware components. Dixie 4 updates this display at regular intervals so that you're always on top of things. For example, a single mouse click activates a disabled LED on the Cyprotec device. Before Dixie 4 carries out its very first action, you need to enter the appropriate password. All other actions can then be carried out directly. At this point, we must make it clear that the operating statuses on the Cyprotec device really do change. The equipment connected to the binary outputs really do switch. If this should not be the case, you have to activate the output blocking on the Cyprotec device. Please read the respective device documentation for this. Even circuit breakers can be checked remotely with Dixie 4. With various single-pole and multi-pole procedures, you test this equipment for tripping or tripping with subsequent switching on. In this connection as well, we must once again draw your attention to possible danger. A successfully started test cycle can lead to the circuit breaker being closed again if an external reclosing device exists. A double click opens the associated dialog box and the window spontaneous annunciations. This window furthermore displays indications to the results of the circuit breaker test. But back to the dialog box circuit breaker test. The operation is simple. You select the name of a test cycle and click start. Here as well you must enter the associated password before Dixie 4 executes the first test. Dixie 4 then starts all further tests without any password query. Would you like to test the reaction of the higher level station to certain indications without having the events responsible for them actually occurring? Then it would be helpful to manually generate these indications and to be able to send them via the system interface. DigZ4 offers you this possibility. To do so, open the indications dialog box by double clicking on Generate Indications. This dialog box shows you all the indications of the device matrix that can be routed on the system interface. For all that, it is not important whether these are actually routed on the system interface. In the column Set Point Status, define a value for an indication that you want to generate manually. 
To do so, choose one of the possible indication states from the list. With a click on Send within the same line, you send the indication including its value via the system interface. Even this procedure is password protected. After entering the correct password, Dixie 4 enables the current as well as all other actions. With the test fault record, you can have steady state signals recorded that exist at the device and then evaluate them with Segra 4. The prerequisite for recording the fault record is that you configure this function as enabled in the functional scope of the Supertech 4 device. Furthermore, you should set the recording time before you trigger a test fault record. One single dialog box shows you all the relevant parameters for the fault recording. You then start the test fault record with a double click on the appropriate entry in the test area. Immediately afterwards, you can examine the result of the fault recording. A double click on the fault record symbol is enough for Secret 4 to open it.